Oh yay! Hello there. Hola, como estas? Amigos and friends from all over the world. Maria Buntang. Now, today is the continuation of the video I made yesterday. Now, just in case you are joining this video, this is actually a part two. If you about to watch this video, you probably should go back to part one, which was uh, Asians racist towards foreigners that comes into their country. All right. That was the first chapter. This is the second chapter. Now the second chapter today, the title is Are Black People Racist Towards Foreigners That Come to Their Countries? Are black people racist towards foreigners that comes to their countries? Now, yesterday I specified that um, all people are racist. I, I made that very clear that no matter where you come from, every human being on this planet is racist. Okay, so I dealt with the with the Asians because I have extensive travels throughout Asia. I know what I'm talking about. I made that clear yesterday. Today is our turn. The black race, the Negroid, the El Negritos. Yes, us. Anybody that look like me is a Negrito, a Negra. Okay, you are black. No matter what, what part of the world you live in, if you look like me, with this kind of hair, you are of the Negroid race. All right, let me get to my, my notes that I took over here, all right? Now, if this is the first time you've joined my channel, my name is Yao Fusu. I want you to Join this family. Hit the subscribe button. You can share my videos. Go back go back and watch my old videos, okay? Because I'm a whole lot of fun. Alright? Not just that, I'm kind of cute too, alright? So, you know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> now, I asked this question yesterday, alright? Are you racist? That's the question you should ask yourself first. Are you racist? Take a look at yourself. Look at the man in the mirror. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, I know everybody is. Yours truly, I will not deny it. I am as racist as racist can be. Okay? Is it a crime? Not really. If you hate people that look like you, then you got you got some kind of issues, but if you love people that look like you, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, now I'm not saying you should go out and hate people that don't look like you. I'm just saying everybody in this world, some way somehow, it's a racist. Okay. Now, yesterday I spoke about the Mongoloid race, the Asians and the experiences that I had with them as a black traveler traveling through Asia. Okay? So today, like I said, it's our turn. Why are people racist? Yesterday, I specified three reasons why people are racist. Number one being fear. Number one, two, I mean, number two being ignorance. And number three being superiority complex. Okay? We all, as human beings, we all talk about people that don't look like us. We make fun of people that don't look us, that don't look nothing like us. It's a natural thing. Okay? Even besides looks, if you hear somebody speaking their native tongue and it's something that you don't understand. Most likely, you look at them like, "What the hell?" You know, it's, it's 
all this is part of racism and, and stereotypes. Okay? Now, when it comes to our race, the black race, are we racist? Yes, we are. But our, our form of racism is not, how can I put it? It's not like, it's not as in your face like some other races. Okay? Like, you know, our form of racism is, is most, 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 mostly, it's like, it's jokes. We are the biggest jokers when, when it comes to racism. We, we love to clown other people. Okay? Like, for example, like, our women will clown on, on, on Suyi and Becky's flat asses, you know, just make fun of them. Oh, these white girls and these Asians, they ain't got no booty. This and that. You know what I'm saying? But then, the next day, you see our sisters wearing a weave that come from Suyi's hair or Becky's hair. So, you know, I hope I don't get hate for this, but it's, it's the truth, right? What about us men? Oh, we make fun of white men. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. We we make fun of their 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 body structures and you know their postures and their small penises and stuff. We we do. I'm not gonna lie. We we talk about them just like they talk about us. All right. Oof. What else can I say? We even make fun of their food. You know how their food got no flavors and this and that. All this is part of the things that we talk about, okay? Now, let's get serious, okay? Are we racist? Now, I'm going to stand up as the self-proclaimed leader of the black race, okay? The super negro. Super nigger. No, that don't sound right. If you see me in the streets and you call me a super nigger, I'm whooping your ass on spot. Don't try that. All right? Because, you know, black people, we call ourselves names all the time. Like, I can give you some examples. Like, me and my boy Kevin. Okay? He called me Jungle Baby, he, he, Shaka Zulu, all kinds of names. Okay? And I call him gorilla all the time because he looked like a gorilla. But guess what? I could call him a gorilla and get away with it. But if you call him a gorilla, he will kill you. Okay? So if you are not black, and if you if you see black people calling each other names, leave it alone. They're not gonna kill each other over name calling. It's their thing. But you don't get involved, all right? We are no different than the, the whites and Asians when it comes to racism. We are as racist as racist can be, okay? So, what else can I say about this here? Are we racist towards foreigners that comes into our countries? Now, speaking as a, as a person of African descent, I have traveled throughout Africa. I mean, not all parts of Africa, but some, some countries in Africa. And I've noticed some things that uh, as black people, I could count at least three countries in Africa that I, I've, I've experienced the same thing as black people. We are very welcoming to people that don't look like us when it comes to our territories. That is a fact. I could use Ghana and Kenya, for example. Like in Ghana, if you are a white man or an Asian, you go to Ghana as a tourist. The last thing that you need to worry about is somebody is going on. Somebody's going to kill you or somebody's going to Say, hey, you white man, go back to your country, or you ching chong, go back to your... It's, you will never hear something like that. It don't happen. Africans, 
or black people in general are extremely, extremely welcoming to people that don't look like us. That's one of the main reasons that got us in tr our race in trouble. We are too welcoming, okay, to other people, to visitors, okay? Now, I could give you some examples, like, uh, let's say if you go to Ghana, right? I've experienced this personally. Like, you could go to a restaurant, okay? If there's a European tourist that's there, I mean, let's say you get there at the same time as a European tourist, chances are, I've seen this, chances are they will probably serve the European before they serve you. Why? Because they are so two-facey. They want to they wanna please foreigners before they please other people that look just like them. It's a fact. It's in Kenya, in Gambia. It's the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same way in Nigeria too. Black people will go above and beyond to please foreigners that don't look like them before they please people that look just like them. Facts. I'm not lying about this. Okay? Accommodations. Like, listen, an African or a black man, whether in the West Indies or any other part of the world, will go above and beyond to make a foreigner from other parts of the world as comfortable as they could be. Even if they have to give their bed, their own bed, to, to Jack, who's from America, or, or, to, or to Vladimir, who's from Russia, as a visitor in Africa, they will give their own bed and sleep on the floor to make the, what? The visitor more comfortable. It's our nature, okay? We give, but we don't get. Okay? We will go out, we, we will go above and beyond if you come to our countries. We, we turn into tour guides. We will show you around. Hey, let me take you here. Let me take you there. Sometimes even spend our own money to make you happy. It's our nature. Oh, are we racist? Heck yeah, we are racist as F. But... We do that behind your back. In front of you, we are nice as hell to you, but behind your back, we will talk about you like crap. Like, oh, that white guy, he smells like a dog. This and that, we, we say all kinds of things. But we will not do things to make you uncomfortable, all right? We are racist, but not in your face. We do it behind your back. Okay? That's who we are. I mean, if you if you have any dispute with what I'm saying, you could ask any non-black person that has traveled to any black country, and they will prove what I'm saying, that black people are very nice, Black people will go above and beyond to make you happy. Now, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that every black country you go to is going to be pleasant, okay? Because a hungry man is an angry man. Get that theory in your head. Listen, if you go to a place, a black country where there's hunger, and poverty, you, you are looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Because a hungry man will do anything to eat, including take what you got. Now, if you if you are traveling to black countries, you got to do research to know what countries are safe. Ghana, Kenya, you know. Like, even on, on our continent, our black country, continent, Africa, I will not recommend any white man or Asian to travel to freaking Somalia or, or 
some war-torn countries. I, I, won't, I won't. Because I'm a black man. I will never step foot in Somalia until it's, it's stable. You understand what I'm saying? So why would I recommend you to go to a place where you know it's not safe? I won't do that. Okay? Now, when it comes to blacks, I cannot speak about the blacks here in America because I cannot use America because blacks in America only make about 14, 1, 4 percent of the population in this country here, America. Now, if you take away all the blacks with foreign background like myself, with foreign parents and this and that, then American blacks will probably make about 7 or 8 percent. That's it. So black people in this country truly are a huge minority. So this is not a black country. Okay? This will come in in the topic tomorrow. Okay? So, um, by the way, when it comes to racism, black people are more racist. I don't know if I should say racist or hatred, but we are more negative towards each other than to people of other races. That is a fact. Okay? I could give you many examples. Okay? I could give you many, many examples. Like, let me use this example here. My last girlfriend I had before I met my, my current Asian girlfriend was a mulatto, okay? A mulatto, you know, her father is black and her mother is white. And, you know, the parents are still together. They have two children, my ex-girlfriend and her younger brother. Now, funny thing is, right, this is what I'm talking about, black on black hate. This black man, okay, has laid down with a white woman and procreated two beautiful mulatto children, a girl and a boy, okay? Now, his daughter liking me was a huge problem for this man. I mean, Anytime I used to go pick her up on the weekends, you know, it's like, if the, if the mother is there, if the mother see me, oh, hey, hi, Mike, how are you? This and that. You, she was very nice to me. But, oh, let the father see me. The black man, he see me picking up his mulatto daughter. It was a huge issue for him. Okay, if looks could kill, I'd have been dead from that man. Just by the way he would look at me. But the funny thing is, no matter what he did, the girl liked me. You know what I'm saying? This is some of the things black people towards each other are not very pleasant. Okay? I could give you another example. I used to go to school with this Ethiopian girl, right? Ethiopian, an African, just like me. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Now, I was trying to bang her, right? From the minute I saw her, I was trying to get at her. Now this girl, after we got to know each other, she used to tell me things like, oh, I can't mess with you. And I'm like, why? I mean, what, 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 what you mean? And she's like, you are West African. If my father was to find out that I'm messing with a West African man, he will kill me. <laughs> and I was like, what? She said, yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you know Ethiopians, Somalians, the East Africans, they would rather see their daughters with a white man 
or an Arab before a black man or a West African man, okay, or a Bantu African man. It's the last thing they want to see their daughters with. Okay? But guess what? After all that crap, I got her one time, I smashed the hell out of her. And it was worth it. Okay, I, I could give you many, many different examples. Okay? Like on the continent. On our continent. Let me give you a little geographical area of our continent. Let's say West Africa. Okay? A Nigerian can see somebody from Ghana or Senegal and won't even acknowledge him as a brother. Even though we, we are the same people. You understand what I'm saying? A freaking... Let's, say, let's go to East Africa. A Kenyan could see somebody from, Tanz um, from Tanzania right next door and won't even acknowledge them, even though pretty much the same people. We are all the same phenotype of, of, of people. We are the same race. Okay, we, we had, I mean, we, we have different folks. You know, I mean, not all skin folks are keen folks. But damn it, we tear into each other more than any other race on this planet. And this is a fact. It's the same thing when you come over here in the diaspora. Look, American blacks tear into each other more than any other people. It's just like Africans. They bang on each other. Okay, the West Indians, it's the same thing. Look, living in New York City, you either went to school with West Indians, like let's say Jamaicans and Haitians and Trinis and Guyanese and this and that. They all form their own cliques. The Jamaicans are on this side, the Haitians are on that side, the Trinis are on this side. The Grenadians, there's this, there's that. It's so funny. And sometimes they actually get into fights. Over what? I don't know. The same slave ship that brought them here and put them on different islands has turned them into enemies. Okay? Especially if there's a little bit uh, of a cultural um, differences. Like, let's say the Haitians, you know, since they... They maintain the, the African language and, um, and the Jamaicans whose language had to completely be washed out. Oh, they don't like each other. And I see I see all the time. Just like a Nigerian and Ghanaian will fight over Jalof or something. They don't like each other. So this tells you our race, we got major issues, okay? We are like crabs in a bucket. If you ever heard that, that, um, that metaphor, craps in a bucket. Our race is like that. Okay? Like, another example is like, um, have you ever seen this movie Django? Django Unchained? If you haven't, you need to watch it. Okay? This tells you about black on black hate. The main characters, Samuel L. Jackson, and um, Jamie Foxx. I, I don't want to give you the whole the whole entirety of, of the story, but if you haven't watched it, watch it and you know what I'm talking about. How black people bang on each other, hate each other. For what? Jealousy. A black person would rather see a white man or an Asian man make it before his his own brother, somebody that have the same complexion as him. All right? Now, should I continue this or I should really talk about why we hate other races? 
I'm going to conclude it. The thing is, black people, we are racist, but we are, our racism is not to the extreme like the other men. Oh, now tomorrow I'm going to talk about our white people racist to foreigners that come into their countries. Oh, you know, that's going to be good. <laughs> that's going to be part three. So stay tuned for that. All right. I promise you it's coming tomorrow. God willing, because nobody's guaranteed tomorrow, but tomorrow I will make that video for you. All right. Now, my name is Yao Fusu. Stay blessed. Hey, subscribe to this channel. All right. Share it to your friends, whatever. Build me up on some numbers. I need some subscribers. And don't forget to hit the like. It'll only take a second to do it, man. Hit the like. All right. Take it easy.